What's up guys, it's Steve and welcome to Darth Vader Annual Issue Number 1 Review. So this is from Alcomic.com and this is by Kieron Jelaine and lots of guys. So this review is by Derek Baker. Let's go dig into the review what's gonna happen in this issue. Marvel's Darth Vader series has done a fantastic job of reminding us why he is one of the most popular villains of all time. Saying that Darth Vader is a great character may sound cliche and redundant. But thanks to the prequel's portrayal of everyone's favorite Dark Lord of Sith, it's nice to occasionally remind us that things are not so bad like last week's Star Wars and Wool. The focus is on the Empire's iron grip on the galaxy. Darth Vader takes matters into his own hands by traveling to Shu Torun, a planet that needs to be taught a lesson. It appears that this planet's people are leaning towards rebellion. Obviously, Vader will have none of that. Jillian and you use a simple plot to show different experience for Vader. It's definitely a situation that hasn't been written before. Shutoran is a planet that appears snobby and slipped in tradition to the point that they try to insist that Vader take part in a ballroom like dance. It was a blast to see Vader's reaction. Sadly, our creative team didn't focus on more of Vader's anger and loathing for such nonsense, but credit needs to be given for at least giving us a taste. After that, the issue starts heating up, which fans of this series know is just a nice way of saying that Vader is about to murder some fools. However, things are not all gloom and doom as Vader's evil droids are at his side to offer a more humorous side to all of the torture and death. Despite a lack of characterization and repeating of things from previous Vader issues, there's still enough here to appreciate. You makes his Star Wars comics debut with some really good results. Backgrounds occasionally lack detail, but you make up for it in epic action and splash pages. His Vader is much more about regal poses and powerful action stances, which adds certain flair to the story being told. Jason Kidd did a wonderful job of coloring the issue. His uses of bloody reds and darkness tell a tale all by themselves come to think of it. Both you and Kate did enough to tell the story without any dialogue. If you are reading Darth Vader or even if you just want a single Vader story to read, you should really pick this up. There's enough original material to warrant the price of admission. The story that the Vader series is telling isn't advanced in any way, but we are fine with that one. And that is totally, totally cool. So yeah, from our, a little review from IG.com and this is by Jess Seren. If there's a common theme linking Marvel's two Star Wars annuals, this month it's Defy the Empire at your own peril. Whereas last week's Star Wars annual issue number one focused on an entirely new character, Dot Vader Animal remains centered on Vader himself and his two faithful droids. So the plot is in this issue is pretty straightforward as Vader is dispatched to one of the Empire's many worlds in order to ensure they remain faithful and productive subjects. This allows writer Kieran Gillen and artist Lanel Yu to introduce another new world to the Star Wars galaxy. Show Turin is unique in that it's a hellish, but it's totally amazing. So the verdict from this comic what we get is this one shot issue doesn't have much to add to current girl and larger dog Vader saga, but it does retain much of the series usual entertainment value. Seeing Vader dominate his enemies and his droids revealing death and torture will always have a certain appeal. This issue also shows that Lenin Yu has strong potential with the Star Wars franchise and that is totally amazing and cool. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Dark Vader and Wolf issue number one and those of you who didn't have enjoyed it today just go to the store buy this comic book enjoy the comic have a great day support the creatures